There's a baby floating around in the bathwater around this song, but let's start with the, um... And the obese milk and welfare well, God, if you're five foot three And you're three hundred pounds Taxes ought not to pay For your bags of fudge rounds The bathwater. People have dragged this, and they should, because A, punching down is not cool, especially not when it's against the working class that you're in, and it's the least cool when your downward punches land you... A shit pot of money. B. It just don't make no damn sense. People with little power have little power to ruin your life. But the thing that chaps my butt about this song and the liberal response to it in most big media is that there are so many good villains. <laughs> There's so many good villains. And we just let them off the hook. The villains are overpopulated, bud. It's not catch and release. You can play for keeps. And they go unnamed, both in the song and most of the liberal responses in big media to the song. There's finger wagging about punching down and blaming the poor, as there should be. But why stop there? Why? Why not name the villains that are right in front of us? You gave us a smash title and lines like, I've been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours. For bullshit pays These rich men know the rich men Lord knows they all just wanna have total control Right here, baby, we are ready for the justice. I say it a lot, I'll say it again. Name the Sacklers. They pumped five million pills into one town of 400 people in Kermit, West Virginia. They knew it was addictive. They made all the money. No jail. Name them. Blame DuPont. The chemical they invented is in the blood of 99.7% of people on Earth. It's in your blood, in my blood, in Walmart Tyler Childers' blood. It's in all of our blood. And we found it out in Parkersburg, West Virginia. Put it in the song. Tech CEOs, they're unelected government. They know more about you than you. The billionaires that paid a lower tax rate than the whole working class in 2018. Thank you, Donald Trump. Giant banks and Wall Street always but you missed all of that and punched the people eating government snacks it'd be a hilarious whiff but it's not funny it's sad it's really sad all right let's talk about the baby and all of this bath water the song is a smash and it's a sign to me your lovable labor leftist that people across the political spectrum are ready for a working class movement to rein in the rich. Yeah, it took a gross turn when one member of the working class missed all the billionaires and punched the people eating fudge rounds, but that's the oldest trope in the book. We have had 50 years of unanswered right-wing propaganda 24-7 on every single device, financed by billionaires in precision, engineered to keep the eyes of the working class off of the ball and onto the fudge rounds. Was this dude thinking about all of that when he wrote the song? Probably not, but it's a good time to start. And people will say, but it's true, John. I work my ass off and I see people in the grocery store abusing welfare all the time. Who cares? Who cares? Get a better cause. You know what you don't see? The middle class because it doesn't exist anymore. And weirdly, the wealth that used to be in the middle class is now in the hands of billionaires. What the f Right? But John, people on welfare are living high on the hog off of other people's hard work. That is what a billionaire does. That's what a billionaire does. Their stocks multiply exponentially without them doing any work because you do that work, but you don't get any of the wealth, which is weird, right? Write a song about it, especially you, Dollar General Tyler Childers.